Mark, thanks for coming by. No problem. Um, should I be concerned that I'm meeting with the head of Sony? No, not at all. In fact, I just had a chance to check out the latest cut of Amazing Spider-Man 2, and I got one word for you. Amazing. <laughs> you see what I, what I did there? Oh, yeah. 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 Anyway, we loved it. We love Rhino and his... And we love Jamie Foxx with all that... We loved it. Loved it. Wouldn't change a frame. Uh, well, great. That, I mean, I'm really glad to hear that because we're all super proud of the film. Just one thing. Some people, not me, have been saying, well, where did Spider-Man come from? What's his origin? Really? Uh, because we covered that in Amazing Spider-Man 1. And in the Sam Raimi-directed Spider-Man film. So, I mean, if people want to know where Spider-Man comes from, they can just watch those. Totally, and that's what I said. But some people, not me, are saying, we don't want to tell people to see those films. We want to tell people to see our film. What, what are you saying? Well, some people, not me, are saying that maybe we want to devote a little bit of the beginning of Amazing Spider-Man 2 to the origin of Spider-Man. You know, throwing the whole, his home planet exploded and his father sent him to Earth in a spaceship, you know that. that that's, that's Superman. Superman? Oh. Yeah. Spider-Man, yeah. No, what we want to see is the story about how he and his friends shared a magical summer while also sharing an equally magical pair of pants. That's Sisterhood of the Traveling Pants. Oh, is it? Huh, well, as you can see, that's why some people, not me, need to hear Spider-Man's origin again. Okay, so you want me to recap the origin of Spider-Man in the sequel to the second Spider-Man origin movie? Well, I don't, but some people do. You know, not, nothing too long, like the first 20 or 30 minutes will be fine. You know, for some people, not me.